Hello, I'm running the latest version of Fedora, uh, Rawhide, the nightly live medium, and I'm interested in trying out the latest version of Nautilus, the GNOME file manager. So from what I've heard, it should be possible to install nightly builds of GNOME software, including GNOME files, as they call it, or Nautilus, as I know it from earlier versions. So why don't I give it a try? And I try to show exactly what I'm doing here on exactly which version of the software, because all my earlier attempts, and I really try once a year or so, of using Flatpak uh, just fail. So maybe I'm doing something wrong. I would really like to learn about this system and to understand how it works, but somehow I've never had luck with it so far. So I'm really interested in seeing how this goes in the very latest nightly build of Fedora. So why don't we start here? And I have to preface this by saying that I'm by no means an expert. Uh, I just have given me the simple task to get the very latest nightly build um, of GNOME files, aka Nautilus, and, and to get this running on the latest Fedora Live ISO. So before we start, why don't we check um, GNOME files or Nautilus that comes with this nightly live image to see which version we have here. So little side note, I find it very annoying that there is no menu anymore. I would like to go to the um, help menu and then select about to see the version that I'm running. But they have somehow decided that it's a good idea to eliminate menus and the about thing is also not in here. So with a little bit of searching around, ah, here it is, okay, about. So files, we have 3.28.1 stable. Um, okay, so it's a stable version, whereas I want to have the latest nightly build of it. So why don't I try to get it running using Flatpak? So first thing to do is let's go to GNOME software. GNOME software. Right, let's open this. Welcome to software. Let's go shopping. Enable third-party software repositories. I'm not sure about why not enable. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, updates. Software is up to date. Great. Um, let's search. Nautilus. Okay, here we go. So version. Okay, that's the version I have. Okay. Okay, so, wow, it doesn't offer me any apparent option to install any other version than the one that I have. Interesting. And it's already installed. I can launch it from here. Or so I think. No. Pressing launch does nothing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so GNOME software doesn't have it. Okay. Now I have heard that there is a way to get flat packs also directly from the web using flat pack ref files. So why don't we try that? So let's go to the browser and just search for it. So let's search for GNOME nightly applications. GNOME apps nightly, that sounds great. It seems to be an official thing from the GNOME project. And let's see, Nautilus, do we have it? Sure enough, here is Nautilus Flatpak Ref. It's from two months ago, so let's have a look at this one. Okay, so this is the Flatpak Ref file. It says which application to install, which branch, 
and since it says nightly here in the title I'm somewhat optimistic that maybe this will indeed install a nightly build of Nautilus so why don't we don't download this or save it nautilus.flatpackref let's save it and okay so now here apparently the system has recognized that this is a software package showing a nice little icon uh, what happens if I double click this? Takes a long time to think about it. Okay. Takes a very long time to think about it. Okay. Nautilus. Access and organize files. Install. Software repository included. Okay. That doesn't look so bad. So let's click on install. Installing. Wow. Maybe it's working after all this time. Keep fingers crossed. Oh no! Unable to install Nautilus as runtime or GNOME platform is not available. Wow! Now I'm starting to ask myself what am I running here if not the GNOME platform and if the GNOME platform is not available why doesn't it tell me how to install the GNOME platform? Uh, I'm really lost here, so can I click this? No, it's just saying it's not available and gives no indication what I have to do to, to get it available. Wow. Here also, this time it doesn't tell me anything about the version that's gonna be installed. It says there is a software repository installed which provides updates and so on, but apparently this software repository doesn't really include everything that's needed to install Nautilus. And see, that's my gripe with those Flatpak ref files. Had I downloaded just this file and had I transported it to a PC without an internet connection, I would be totally lost at this point, right? Because it's not self-contained. Having just this file here doesn't mean you actually have the software. It just means you have a reference to the software. And as we have seen here, Having the reference to... Oh, what's this? Cannot install... Sorry, already exists, okay. Something already exists, but the software still is not installed. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay. What do we do now? Maybe I have to install something related to the GNOME platform? Let's, let's search for that. GNOME... Platform not really or maybe just platform there are all sorts of platforms but no gnome platform okay so the only thing I could imagine is that I have to also download the latest gnome platform from also this gnome apps nightly thing maybe possibly let's let's see platform no, doesn't have anything about platform. Now what? Now what? There is certainly nice documentation explaining how this is supposed to work. Read me or something. Read me. No, no read me. Nothing. Well, here is a link to a wiki. Maybe this one will explain it. Flatpak is uh, uh, multiple distros, uh, uh, cross disk, uh, uh, cross desktop. Builds of stable and unstable GNOME runtimes. Builds of GNOME apps. Okay, runtimes. Maybe I need to install a runtime manually. I would be a bit surprised. I would expect this to happen automatically if a runtime is required, but maybe not. So there are currently three main runtimes, free desktop, GNOME, and KDE. These are all hosted on FlatHub. Okay, let's go to FlatHub. Now, there are apps. There are apps. Maybe let's just search for GNOME files here. GNOME files. Zero results. Nautilus. Nautilus. 
Nautilus, also known as Files. So, okay, it doesn't tell me which version I'm getting here. Right, version, yeah, unknown. So here are command line instructions. Well, first of all, I always hear that you don't need the command line to use Flatpak. Let's try this install button here. Okay, it's also a Gnome Nautilus Flatpak ref file. Let's open that one. Aha, this looks a little bit different. Notice this uh, icon up here. That's new. Nautilus from Flathub. Okay. Also here, a software repository is included. This time it says it's downloading from Flathub. But uh, this time it doesn't tell me the version. It says stable. I suspect that stable is not what I want because I want nightly, right? But just for fun, let's try to install this one. Oh, it's <laughs> also not working. Var temp does not support X addresses, which is needed for system-wide installation as a user. Flatpak system cache dir can be used to set an alternative path. Okay, do that. Please do all of that so that it works. No, it's not working. I mean, what do I do now as a user? It's. I mean, this is exactly the issue I'm running into each time I'm trying to use Flatpak. It complains about this X Etchers stuff, which apparently they didn't manage to bring into their live CDs all the time, right? So Flatpak's still broken on live CDs, at least out of the box. At least now, apparently, they have thought about some workaround, but they haven't implemented it. I mean, for me as the user, the only thing that matters is whether it works or not. But telling me that I could that flatpak system cache dir somewhere doesn't really help me at all. Where do I set this? Is there is there a settings thing somewhere? Software repositories maybe? Okay, so here you can do some things. Let's see. These all seem to be additional repositories which can be disabled or enabled. Now look here, GNOME Nightly is enabled apparently, so that's what I want, right? But I have absolutely no clue what they want to tell, uh, what, what they want me to do by telling me. Oh, that's awful! See, I can't move the topmost window without moving the underlying <laughs> window as well. So whatever they have written here that I should uh, change, I cannot change here in the settings. And uh, yeah, so let's close that. How do I set Flatpak system cache dir? Where do I set that? No clue. Um, also, set an alternative path. Which path? Right. No clue. So what's next? Let's try the command line maybe. Uh, Close all of this GNOME software stuff and let's go to these commands. Flatpak install flathub or GNOME Nautilus. Let's copy that. Go to a terminal. Paste this. Okay. Required runtime for all GNOME Nautilus stable is not installed. Found in remote flathub. Do you want to install it? See, I want to install the nightly build, not stable. So how do I tell it that I want nightly rather than stable? I don't know. So I say no here. So let's do um, flatpak dash dash help. Okay, here we go. So install update uh, uh, info config search 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 okay I could maybe search that's good okay flat pack search Nautilus no matches found <laughs> flat pack doesn't find Nautilus maybe flat pack search GNOME apps. No matches found. So at this point I'm really 
I, without words. Literally, everything I'm trying is not working. And I hope this is not coming across as me intentionally doing things wrong. I honestly am trying to install the latest version of Nautilus using the latest flat pack that comes with the latest Fedora on the latest nightly build. And literally everything I'm doing is not working. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm really lost here. I don't have words for this. So, to make it very reproducible, let me um, do flatpack dash dash version so that everyone along can, can, can follow along at home. This is the flatpack version. Let's also show the version of the system. Cat, it's the OS release. This is Fedora 29 workstation, latest nightly built rawhide as of today. Um, okay, today is May 17, 2018, and this is really, I just downloaded this a couple of minutes ago, so really the, the very latest version. Yeah, uh, I would be happy if you can give me a hint what I'm supposed to do here to really take a live CD of Fedora and run the latest nightly build of GNOME files, also known as Nautilus, using Flatpak.